In this lecture, we are going to be performing cylindrical segmentation and understand how point clouds can be manipulated into our required output, writing of the point clouds, visualizing multiple point clouds. It is going to be interesting. Let's first write a saving function for the point cloud. Let's start by creating a new file or node clustering.cpp. I'm going to create the basic structure and include required libraries. We are going to be using these new libraries and I will explain what they are going to be performing different actions on our point cloud. But first, let's add it into CMake list. CMake list and adding executable and install targets are ready. Let's start filling it. Previously, if we take a look into our planar segmentation, we were performing loading of our cloud and reading our cloud in a manner that was utilizing the data type of point cloud XYZ. And before that, we were using point cloud 2. This time, I'm going to reduce some code by defining a point template point D of point XYZ. So this is going to be replaced everywhere with point t and that simplifies the reading of the code as well the first thing that we will be doing is we will be simplifying our cloud with our uh, voxel technique that we did so the processing gets reduced a lot the main cloud is going to be the so if we take a look into our voxelizing CPP, here we would call this function with these parameters and it performed voxelization. We are just going to be applying the same to our cloud that was cloud BCD. This time it is giving error because I have replaced this data type to point T. Voxel cloud is going to be written and we are going to be then writing our point cloud so this part is just going to be visualizing what it actually looks like the point clouds we have so let's bring in the terminal call can build ros2 run point cloud perception the name of the node is clustering let's press enter and here we have the voxel pcd we have it here pcl viewer voxel pcd so it has voxelized all of our point cloud but obviously we don't need all of it so we'll utilize the planar segmentation and extract the plane and then utilize the remaining ones in planar segmentation it was set to false to extract the plane i'm going to set it to true and i'm going to call it non-plane segmentation the code that we had that reads the cloud applies planar segmentation call can build this changes and it is going to extract the indices and give us the non-planar area of our cloud non-planar segmentation which we are going to be utilizing in our cloud if now i run clustering and it gets overwritten the voxel pcd let's view it here you can see we have our voxel although the color is not that much apparent if i zoom in so the ground plane has gone and we have the walls and some extra things the outliers that we don't want now we are aiming to extract these cylinders out of it let's see how good results we get before moving on let me simplify the process of writing the cloud because it is going to be happening again and again so i'll put it into a function that is going to do this process
So now we just need to call the function cloud saver, provide the name, I'll say voxel cloud just to check it and the path that we already have defined and the cloud that contains the data. So let's compile it. And then we run the node of clustering. It is going to produce a voxel cloud. I made a mistake. I have to provide the PCD as a full name as well. So if I visualize it, So this is the same voxelized point cloud for the required task that we are performing extracting the cylinders or any object that we want so we are focusing on cylinders. The extraction of points inside of point cloud using the PCL library is mostly focused on the normals and what are normals? Let's first understand that. So what are normals? If you can see the arrows coming out of these squares, they are actually perpendicular to the surface. So we can estimate what this surface is like. In the context of point clouds, we get these normals out of each single point. So we can estimate if it is a curve or it is plane or a terrain. The segmentation process we utilized earlier and this one as well utilizes these normals to find out what this model is representing because of the direction of the vectors. So let's see how does it performs. Our cloud saving functionality is working. Now we are going to initiate normals computation. As voxel grid requires a voxel grid class call. Similarly, for normal computation, we need to call a normal estimate class. And this is PCL normal estimation. The template is going to be the input and output. So input is our point T and output in our case is going to be our normal, which is of PCL class. So we will define it and the name is going to be normal estimator. We are also going to define a tree that is going to be the data structure from PCL KD tree that will go through all the normals of our point cloud and perform the search. Let's apply some parameters to this normals estimation. The first one is defining the search method and as we have defined it to be a tree so let's put it. Then we need to define the input cloud and that is our voxel cloud. We can also define the number of neighbors this search is going to carry and in our scenario I'm going to give 50 then after computing the normals you are going to save those normals into cloud normals object. So this cloud normals is going to be of PCL normals and I am going to define here with the point cloud class yeah it is going to be a shared pointer again so normals are going to be computed the next step is to perform the segmentation and for segmentation we will bring in sac segmentation from normals class that is similar to what we utilized here in the planar segmentation previously we were doing just the simple segmentation but now we are performing through normals because cylinder have curved shapes and normals help us to understand the surface of the object that we are working with I am going to first define the parameters for segmentation. These parameters contain the model type of SAC model cylinder and this method type is going to be ransack. Once the parameters are set, we are going to bring in the functions that actually perform the segmentation. The cloud is voxel cloud. The normals are cloud normals and whenever the segmentation occurs as we are doing with normals it is going to provide us the inliers and the coefficients. So I will name them to be cylinder inliers and cylinder coefficients. Obviously we have to define both of these. So I will bring in the code that defines the coefficients and point indices. As we have to extract these inliers from the main point cloud it's sort of indices that we have and uh, we are going to carry them from the main point cloud. For that we need another thing that is extractor of the indices. We will utilize it here. First we set the input cloud that is voxel cloud. Then we set the indices that we have. In our case they are cylinders in. Then we tell it to extract the required 
part from the cloud and not the other remaining one and then we just save it into our extracted cylinder again this is going to be a cloud so we have to define another object of point cloud point t that is going to carry actual cloud of the extracted cylinder the last thing we need to do is to save this cloud cloud saver the name is going to be extracted cylinder dot pcd then the path we have to to give the point cloud to save it and it's not extract cylinder because extract cylinder is the indices extractor i'm just going to say extracted cylinder let's run it call can build and let's bring in our file manager run our clustering node and here it should appear we have extracted cylinder let's visualize it pcl viewer extracted cylinder and interestingly uh, these are just two lines and nothing else it might be interesting to you that why only these lines are appearing although we performed all of the cylinder segmentation and extracted the indices the thing is this output actually extracted this to be a cylinder but we have to get through this whole extraction and again and again sort of it contains all the cylinders but we have to write a procedure to extract the remaining part of it and see what cylinders we have and then save them step by step so let's first understand that how we are going to do that and how this process is going to be helping us here is how we will do it first we will extract a cluster and the normals then we will set the flag to negative and get all the remaining part of the first segmented part and then we will set a condition we are going to leave the point cloud only on one condition that it is now empty and we have gone all through the extracted clusters and obviously to go through all of these points we need a while loop so while loop exit condition getting the inverse part of the first segmented normals it seems to be very confusing but let's see in the code first we need to put all of the things into a loop i would call it to be a while true this while loop is going to contain both of the cylinder segmenter and indices extractor here we are going to apply two conditions if the cylindrical cloud containing the points is empty it's to check that the available point cloud that we have is empty or not and there will be an else condition to exit out of our loop so if it is empty it is going to exit so we will reverse the condition whenever it is empty you are going to go in else and you are going to get out from the previous video i have changed the name here so to remove the confusion that it was building up so whenever the point is not empty what you are going to do is to first of all save the cloud and it is going to be named it in the form of a string because as it is a looping variable and multiple cylinders are going to be saved so i will introduce a stream of strings that is defined using std string stream it is going to be ss it is going to carry the name as cylinder or i would say extracted cylinder then it is going to carry out a looping variable that is going to add up to a number so we can differentiate dot pcd this l should be defined somewhere before our while loop int l is equal to zero stopping it and here i'm going to write the name ss and this ss is obviously not a simple string so i have to convert it into a string so the function works properly for saving the point cloud once you have saved it i will iterate into the looping variable and we are now going to perform the updating of our extracting indices how we were doing it we were extracting our indices using the voxel cloud this time we are going to be just making small change and that is to set up indices extractor in a way that it extracts the other portion of our cloud to set it to true then we apply to the main cloud that we have so we can extract the complete other portion of our cylinder extraction that we did here this is a little bit confusing that you have to get yourself go through it again and again another part we have to perform is to hold the cylinder indices for temporary purposes and for that i have created another variable as cylinder indices extracted temporary and this is an important one because we are going to be processing the normals through the indices extractor and not the cloud so here inside of set input cloud we are going to be providing 
the normals that we have inside of our cylinder segmentation we will provide it to update that and it is going to filter out and produce an output into the same normals negative is going to be set to true so other portion can be extracted the indices are going to be the same that were extracted using the segmentation algorithm we used this seems to be working let's compile it and see what happens in our terminal first we need to perform call can build and then run the clustering node it is going to be start producing multiple cylinders extracted out of the cylinder segmentation that this ransack segmented did and you can see 0 1 2 3 4 6 multiple clouds are going to be extracted so if i visualize it and i first visualize this zeroth one you can see the same output that we got earlier which is useless let me open up the first one and here you can see a proper cylinder has been extracted if i open up the second one again the output is useless proper segmentation is not done or what we desire is not done if you can see another cylinder has been extracted here so what is happening let me stop the processing because it is extracting a lot of things according to the algorithm that we created it has extracted around about 33 cylinders although only nine are present so i'm removing them and i am going to defining a criteria to filter out the unwanted cylinders the first thing before performing the saving part i would perform the logging part that is going to tell me what is the size of point cloud that you are generating so we will apply a condition before saving so i'll just print out in the form of a string that cloud contains this much points and then we will apply a condition upon it call can build let's see here you can see the first cloud contains 36 the second one 180 85 71 and 89 59 148 so if you remember the first one was the one that we did not require and i am going to set a criteria after looking at these numbers i would say any cluster that contains values less than 90 we are going to leave it so how we are going to perform that if the cylinder cloud points dot size are less than 100 in that specific scenario you are going to run this code and it's greater than 190 that's what we discussed then you are going to just write it so let me stop it perform call can build and there was one more thing that i wanted to add an underscore so let's run it and here you can see the 36 one was not written 160 got written and 153 got written so we can also put this increment inside of this if condition so whenever there is something that is written you are going to increment because currently it is incrementing continuously now this time if i perform pcl viewer and i'm going to visualize all of the point clouds that we have 1.pcd ex3 ex7 then the 10th one and let's say the 12th one as well i'm going to press enter let's zoom out and you can see it has extracted these cylinders properly and all of these cylinder contains points and those points are actually representing xyz values but if we count here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 cylinders are ex extracted so there are some things that we don't require because total cylinders were nine or one cylinder would be extracted half and the other half was detected to be another cylinder still the problem persists when you are working with algorithms you know that nothing is a exact go-to-go -go solution for any problem although it is just a simulation so we have to tune multiple parameters and that is why we have the access to the parameters the most important two parameters are the radius limit and the distance threshold from the point to the model we can also look into voxel cube size that we have set and they affect directly to the clustering part let's make some changes and see the results so in our code there are multiple things that you can make changes and have better results for example the first one is the voxel filter 
size that you want to apply you can increase it so number of points increase so a normal estimation becomes better and the second thing is the neighbors the kd tree search if we increase it we get more accurate results and let me increase it to 0.08 q per q coming to the most important parameter that is the radius limit first i already set from 0.1 to 0.4 and this radius becomes very strict if i increase it to 0.3 to 0.4 i think almost all cylinders fail to fit in it so you can make changes here set distance threshold it is the distance to the model threshold because the sac segmentation is actually having a model that it fits into our point cloud and then extracts it so the less the distance the more accurate prediction it might be if I increase it to 0 0.5, 0 0.1, just randomly giving, we can fine tune them. Last but not the least, the number of points I'm looking at. If I increase it to 100, I think I will only get the cylinders. And if cylinders are segmented properly, let me increase this as well. And I think I should not be printing the cloud numbers as well. And running the cluster, let's see in our point clouds we are unable to get any cloud out of the whole point cloud we had so the changes that we made resulted into not even one point cloud extraction so let's just focus on the number of points that is the major factor i am perform call can build and run the node again and so the clouds are containing 179 168 and that is one main reason that this is happening all of the clouds are having more points is the search criteria has been decreased so most of the points get passed through it as we are just looking at 30 neighbors and it is continuously providing us the results although it has just extracted nine point clouds let me check if i can directly view through the star ex star I want to see if I can see all of them. Yes, with the star, we can see all of these point clouds available. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, six cylinders, seven, eight, nine. The walls are also extracted and understood as a cylinder. So far, so good. The algorithm for segmentation we made is working fine. We can more fine tune it, utilize the plane, and then extract cylinders based on the area that is cylindrically cleared and get the cylinder. Cylinder segmentation and planar segmentation was just an example for you to understand how to manipulate the point clouds. In autonomous cars, we most of the time require ground segmentation quickly and efficiently, and planar segmentation can perform the task to some extent. But the crux of the segmentation is to work on the normals of these surfaces and they are very useful when you are actually performing for real world applications so we'll explore how we can perform these concepts onto real world data and that is going to be really interesting